we're going to discuss the connections to a pressure sensor and a temperature sensor. To start, we have to apply power to the RWF, and this is common to both the 50 and the 55, so 120 volts must be applied to L1 and neutral in order to power. I'll show the RWF 50 as well, and that's L1 and neutral. To connect the 7MF 4 to 20 milliamp pressure sensor to the RWF, terminal G plus must be connected to terminal 1, which is the positive of the 7MF. And this is common to RWF 50 and 55. Next, connect terminal 12 on the RWF to the negative, which is terminal 2 on the sensor. Another connection that's required is a jumper between terminal G minus and 13 in the RWF 50 case and G minus and 14 of the RWF 55. Terminals 1N, 1P are wired in series with the burner switch and turn the burner off as demand is met and turn the burner on as the call for heat resumes. Terminals A plus and A minus, A plus, A minus, and A plus and A minus are the analog output terminals that are wired to terminals X64-1, which is the positive, and X64-2, which is the negative of the LMV3. When connecting a temperature sensor to the RWF50, use terminals 11 and 13, and when using the RWF55, use terminals 11 and 14. The K6 relay can be programmed for low fire hold with a temperature sensor on input 3. This is only available on the RWF55, and you would normally wire the temperature sensor into terminals 31 and 32. This is how to set the parameters on the RWF, starting with set point under the operation menu. To get to it, simply push enter. The operation menu comes up. Hit enter again. SP1. Hit enter one more time to manipulate the numbers by inc increasing or decreasing. Finally, hit enter to accept the value. The next set of parameters that you must set are under the parameter menu. And to get to it, hit the escape button until you see OPR, then hit the down button until you see parameters. Then hit enter. PP1 is the P. As an example, a good, num a good starting point for P would be 10. The DT stands for derivative, and in most cases, it is set to zero. The RT is the integral, or the I, and that's a good starting point for that is 120. Next, we must set the burner on and off parameters, and that's HYS1 and HYS3. HYS1 would be set for minus 5, and HYS3 would be set for positive 10. With these settings, if your burner set point was 100 PSI, your burner would turn off at 110 and will not come back on line until you, your pressure dropped down to 95. 
The next set of parameters that we have to configure are under the configuration menu. And to get to it, push escape. When you see parameters, go down, config, hit enter, input, enter, input one, enter again. And it's currently configured for a four, as you can see. And that would be for a two wire platinum 1000 ohm sensor, so a, a heating application like a hot water system. In a steam scenario, you would have to set it to a 16. And the next step you would have to do is enter a scale for the pressure sensor that you're using. And that's under SCL1, that would be set to zero. And SCH1 would be used, be set to 150, if the system was a 150 pound design. Next, we would set controller type For 4 to 20 modulation, set controller type to a 2, set CACT to a 1 for heating, under out P, set the function to a 4, and the signal type to a 1.